So this is a test recording of the Elegy of the Dead and yeah, it's my first time playing this and I'm basically just looking to get started into writing again since this game has been so very um, recommended by friends and all I thought, yeah, why not? The first impressions is that this, this game is gorgeous, it's seriously beautiful I mean, yeah, it's simple but look at those pastel colours and yeah, okay, fine. I admit, I, I like the, the whole spinning around the world thing. And oh my god, the amount of the amount of, of, of background is like, you can actually see, it, it feels very three-dimensional that like you're in a little orb that's like just being held together by other worlds. And yeah, I mean, sorry, you're in, you're in a little, uh, like you're in a glass marble, I would say. I mean, yeah, when you see this really like white um, space here. And oops, okay, there goes the mouse because yeah. So alright, let's go back into this world, I think. Uh, yeah, let's open it. Um, yeah, let's start writing. Proud history of the day one freeform writing grammar was it was it woo. Okay. That's Okay, that's interesting. Just write anything everywhere. Grammar workshop no. Don't need that. The destroyer of worlds. This look sounds interesting. Uh, this the social path. Ah, okay. I thought, but you, but, uh, hmm, do I really want to do this? I was speaking to someone else, I know that you da da da, nope, 10 rhyming couplets though, and this is, this sounds interesting, let's see, maybe the couplets pair, the 10 couplets but show, but stone da da, okay, it's interesting. Bad poetry you wrote in a bus, this sounds interesting. Hurry, da 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 da, okay, nope, that looks kind of hard. Diary for young girl, hmm. Uh, no, let's, you know what, I'm tempted to get this, but this looks fairly alright. And there's like narrative, when you're speaking to someone else, who are they, why did you part ways? Uh, this, uh, no, this sounds interesting. I thought, but you won. Okay, so you can't fly higher than that. So, let's just walk. Okay, so you could fly higher, I suppose. Um, just ignore that it's a phone message. And oh, this place is desolate. It's empty. And if you're walking, it it feels really abandoned and just really really sad. And yeah, it's look, it looks like a civilization gone wrong, obviously. And it's well, obviously it's literally sunset. But wow. Okay. What is this place? Uh, okay. Can I go up? No, I can't. Huh. Looks like a... Is it a library? No, it doesn't look like a library. Maybe... City councils? Ooh, bright shiny thing. Obviously we'll stop. Okay. Uh, and I see things that are glowing around here, so... What do I do? Holy crap, that thing is loud. Are you going to speak to me? Do I need to write something? Hmm. I could contemplate this, but this is quite... He's very noisy. So let's just keep walking. Oh, I see. So that's how it goes. It looks like a dwelling of some sort. Okay, let's have a look and see what this place... Oh, wow. Okay, that looks interesting. It's shells, but don't quite look like shells. Tap to right. Okay. Okay. Let's 
get to close. Yeah, it's yes, I know just how very trite there is, but oh my god, that animation is actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, and the shadows. I wonder what what were they actually here? And yeah, okay. You can tell it's like yeah you know, I'm pretty much writing very much a very trite kind of story but it's just yeah do I want to add anything else no that's that's fine let's just continue the end of it okay I'm just gonna take this out okay that's a very desolate house and I'm really feeling very depressed so yeah this probably wasn't a great idea <laughs> uh, and yeah I forgot that OBS doesn't show you how long you've been recording so there is also that with the letter I or T or something of it. And this place is quiet and empty and oh hello dwellings. More dwellings. say but actually typing it out making it sound good is a journey of itself and I suppose you could say that this is pretty much what every writer faces is like you have the idea you have um, the thought that you want to you want to um, you want to express you want to you but you struggle to find the words to encapsulate it so that the meaning more than the words themselves the meaning is conveyed um, so yeah I know what I want to say in this, but how do I get it across in in a way that sounds like it's from one person to another? Um, and yet with that sense that you're writing not for yourself, not for the your loved one, but it's for a greater audience. So that in a way, it's a lot like Twitter. It's a lot like the way we use social media, at least from the way I see how I approach Elegy for the Dead. Um, I'm looking at it not so much... Um, as a as true storytelling I suppose but it's public exhibitionism um, I'm using this as, as an excuse to force myself to write but to force myself to write in a public manner and considering that my YouTube channel doesn't have that many people in the first place um, gives me greater honesty I suppose in in saying things so yeah uh, well, this is going to be really, really trite again and really, really somewhat depressing. Okay. 
Ah, uh, damn it. I hate it when it happens. Keys are really annoying me. Well, not so much annoying me, they're just tripping me up because I'm so used to pressing enter instead of play. And oh dear, ah, I see there is a problem with this um, OBS. Um, rather, um, it's not really scaling the um, video properly, so that um, basically, as you can tell, the uh, the these uh, quills are getting cut off so let me just try to fix that uh, da, 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 da. can i do this can i do this should i do this uh da, 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 da. okay fine let me just make it like that and okay fine you get that so a bit here a bit here can i can i can I? Can I? Can I? I hope so okay Let's see if that fixes it for, um, let's see if that fixes it, basically. And, oh, let's start writing again. to use um, the same I don't intend to use the same uh, narrative I suppose uh, yeah let's see what this one is Yeah, I know. This is like pretty much quite. Uh, uh, this is very, very um, cliche. As you can tell, this is like kind of obvious as to the kind of, I suppose, the form that I'm probably employing. said it well I think you can you guys can kind of guess uh, 
Now there's like this really high pitched sound that makes me wonder just what they are supposed to signify. Ooh, okay, this one is big. You can see the guy or a girl now. Looks blondish, white skin. I don't know. Poor shaman. He did try his best, but in the end. And that's another message. I should probably keep this phone on silent. And oh my goodness. Wait, what? In case you haven't guessed, Adraina is basically my nickname. That's it. Um, right. No, nope, that's still bad. Of all the things I hate to do, naming my documents are the worst because if I have a rough idea of what I of of the kind of setting and the kind of things I want to write, it's usually quite easy. But for something like this where everything just erupts, that's another thing. Um, yeah. Eh, might as 
alright. Let's resume. Oops. Okay. Great preview. This one, okay. Yes, I know just how possibly someone has really written this, but hey, why not, right? Okay, options. Uh, no, I like that. Um, resume. So, yeah, let's travel across this cold and desolate world. And I suppose for a short story with the snippets I've captured, that's probably enough. And to be honest, it's actually really fast. I didn't expect to finish this like so soon. Um, yeah. Mm. I don't know, it's... This world is so cold, so empty. And I do admit that I don't know much of it. As in, if it's Shelley's books, the only Shelley work I'm familiar with is... Um, Mary Shelley and that's uh, Frankenstein and even that I haven't touched in years like several like, seven, like almost 10 years plus I haven't read it since I was a teenager and that ought to give you an idea of just how old I am so yeah let's just uh, yeah as you can tell I have absolutely no idea how this one works so I do like what I usually do in games and what I do when I get lost which is I just follow the steps and um, just go all the way to the end and you think about it that there is a lot of distance this this place actually covers and yet not that much distance at all because in the background the sun doesn't move or rather you move across it but the sun doesn't the sun doesn't doesn't seem I mean you basically s it looks as though the sun is the sun hasn't moved in the time you've traveled and yet you've seen so many things, so you've covered a great distance and yet not that much at all. And I suppose this is where everyone is resting. Or at least someone managed to bury them, I suppose. And let's publish this, and with it, let's publish the story as well. Yeah, might as well. So yeah, at least you guys know where to find this, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for it, and hope you enjoyed it.